be subtle, but beautiful. I want it to be sexy and natural and everyday woman. Um, I didn't want to look like I was trying too hard, but just a little fast at the same time, you know? I love it. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm just going in with my liquid eyeliner from L'Oreal. So I've been doing my research and um, yeah, I can definitely do these better. Um, but that's all a part of this um, situation is learning and growing. As you know guys I did go with the 480 and a little goes a long way you don't need that much it is really runny as you can see um, but you know that can also be a good thing because it you know helps you when you're um, applying the product all over your face um, but yeah it is matte and really matte I mean you have to work fast because it will dry on you what I love about this foundation is that it is buildable um, and that um, it's very lightweight I mean you rarely feel anything on your skin i mean I, I it's like you're not wearing anything i mean i'm not hyping this up guys like you have to get this um go and find your shade um even if you just go and get the sample but it is absolutely gorgeous it's lightweight and you're gonna love it So we have a visitor. <laughs> Don't mind him, guys. This is my son, Gavin. my trophy wife i love this kilowatt it is so good for dark-skinned women oh my god it just it's, it's beautiful guys um so of course i didn't get the trophy wife i didn't like the color payoff it had like a yellowish undertone but i did go with the kilowatt and i liked it it is very bold um the highlighter i mean I, it is a highlighter but i did use it as um shadow as you can see here but I did like it, um, I, I love it, it's my favorite actually. I can never get that wing right. Oh my God. But hey, you work with what you got. <laughs> It 
It's so creamy. Um, it blends out very well. Um, I do feel like this highlighting um, situation, which is the suede one, is a little too light for me. Um, I do like the cinnamon, um, which is just really subtle though. I mean, this is definitely would be great for someone that wants a, just a natural glow for everyday look. Um, but it's not as bold as I thought it would be when it comes to, um, you know, just standing out as far as that pop. Cinnamon, I love it, but it, it just melts into the skin. Espresso, absolutely love it, but it melts into the skin. I mean, literally, it's so creamy, guys, and rich that it just melts into my skin. Like, I can almost get away with not even having anything on. But, yeah, I did return the trio stick, um, match sticks, but um, I would go with definitely, I would purchase the espresso again. But I also found a dupe to that, too, so... <laughs> I mean, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Rihanna, girl, you did that. It's so creamy. It feels so good on the skin, guys. It just literally melts like butter. She should have named this sucker butter. But, uh, yeah, I definitely recommend it. And then everyone knows that these sticks, um, they are magnetic. So every time I put one down, it would just clamp onto the other. So, yeah. for your life, blend for the gods. <laughs> don't mind me. If you don't know by now, maybe want to check my other videos out. Um, yeah, I'm very silly. So, yeah. <laughs> and yes, guys, actually, I think I'm going to make that one of my requirements. You have to have a sense of humor and you got to want to laugh when you come over here. <laughs> I know nothing about contouring. This nose, my nose is big, not only big, it's fat, not only fat, it's not one shape. It's like, it's narrow in the middle and round at the tip. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it's cute now. Don't come for my nose. <laughs> and what I'm doing here, I'm going in the C, motion um girl following behind rihanna following behind rihanna but i live um yeah and yeah so i like that i like it it actually um it's not showing up as good as i thought it would um another thing though i mean that's a good thing as well though because you know you don't have to worry about overdoing it what I notice is with this Fenty Beauty, um, when you do put on a lot, or you may think you put on a lot, and then when you, by the time you finish your face, spray everything down, it just melts into your skin. So you're fine. Don't even worry about overdoing it. It's really hard to overdo it. Okay. So.
Okay guys, I'm going to set this and tint this baby. I'm just going to use my um, NYX finishing spray. I do like this look, um, so I'll come back with the final look. I'm feeling really black and creamy and silky and sexy. This is the finished look, guys. I would go in with a different brush next time. I do like this uh, the foundation because it is buildable. Um, and I do have some creasing here, which is what I have with everything, even my $50 Lancome um, foundation that I use. Um, and I think that's going to be based on the primer. Um, the primer and um, I could have did a little more, you know, build a little more around that area maybe. Like I said, put the powder on first before I did the foundation. But I wanted to get the, you know, genuine... Um, feel of Rihanna that didn't sound right <laughs> but yeah you know without anything else added so but yeah I absolutely love this kilowatt oh my god this is my trophy wife call me a trophy honey I don't have to be the wife All right, guys, I didn't get the lip gloss only because I'm not a gloss girl, but that lip gloss is bomb. So I do think I'm going to go back and get it <laughs> next time.